Many of the locations where Elvis Presley filmed Blue Hawaii on the island of Oahu are still standing and visible for Elvis fans to see. Come with me on my exclusive virtual tour of Elvis's Blue Hawaii. Aloha! I'm Trina Young, the Elvis News and Travel Examiner and host of Trina's Virtual Tours. In 2016, I was lucky enough to spend a week in Hawaii researching Elvis locations in paradise. It's no secret why Hawaii was Elvis's favorite vacation destination. Blue Hawaii was filmed from March to April 1961. During filming, Elvis stayed at the Ocean Tower at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, and that same hotel was used to film many of the famous scenes in the movie. For example, the open-air entrance to the hotel was used in Presley's film. Elvis drives up in the Dodge Dart convertible to pick up his tour group at the hotel entrance, which still looks the same to this day. The cafe by the beach where Elvis was sitting with actresses Joan Blackman and Nancy Walters in one scene is still there. The location where they filmed the scene then called Makahiki Gardens, is now where the Howe Tree Bar is located. The venue is a casual laid-back bar and restaurant that sits right next to the beach with the picturesque Diamond Head Volcano in the background. Fans can enjoy the Blue Hawaii drink while they take in the same gorgeous view that Elvis saw during that scene. Surprisingly, the Blue Hawaii drink was not named after the movie. In fact, this tasty blue drink filled with vodka, sweet and sour, and blue curacao for the blue color was created in 1957, four years before the movie. The drink was invented by the lead bartender at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, Harry Yee. However, the title of the movie, released in 1961, was not inspired by the drink. The movie got its name from the title song, which was actually a remake of a Bing Crosby song from his 1937 film, Waikiki Wedding. In another scene, Elvis talks on the phone at the hostess podium at the Garden Bar, which is now called the Tropics Bar, located just on the other side of the resort's pool. The resort, which has added many new towers over the years, pays tribute to the king with detailed information on Presley's link with Hilton Hawaiian Village. The hotel displays large photo boards filled with pictures of Elvis and his many visits to the hotel. These display boards are located on the ground level at the Tapa Tower in Hilton Hawaiian Village. Elvis stayed on the 14th floor of the Ocean Tower in the Maheli Suite. You can now stay there yourself in the Hilton's Elvis Suite. Over the years, the Hilton has built several new towers on their property, so it can be confusing to figure out which tower is which. The most prominent of the towers now is the Rainbow Tower, which was built in 1968. It has the world's largest ceramic tile mosaic painted on both sides of the hotel. The Ocean Tower where Elvis stayed was renovated in 1987 and is now called the Ali Tower. This tower is located in this picture to the right of the tall rainbow tower. Another memorable scene that fans can recreate is the picnic that Elvis had with Miley, played by Joan Blackman. They drove up to a romantic scene lookout point in Honolulu which is now an official lookout point in Pu'ulaka State Park. The park sits on Mount Tantalus in Honolulu and offers gorgeous views from Diamond Head to Pearl Harbor. When Elvis and Joan Blackman filled this scene, there was no designated park there. Fun fact, the little red car that Elvis drives in that scene is on display at Graceland in the Elvis Automobile Museum. Blue Hawaii was Presley's second biggest film of his career, second in box office earnings only to Viva Las Vegas. This information comes from my exclusive list of Elvis Presley's box office earnings that I compiled for each movie in my book Elvis Behind the Legend. I've included the link below. Aloha! I hope you liked this video. 
Please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of my future videos and be sure to watch this video next.